Welcome to your yoga practice for when you're feeling sick. We all get sick at some point and the best, most healing thing we can do is to get into our bodies, breathe, and just move a little bit. I love this practice. I use it myself for when I'm sick, so I'm really excited to share this with you. I'm Action Jacqueline. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm excited for us to practice together. And we're gonna be using a bolster. I've got the Brentwood Home one. I love it because it's just so soft and cozy and my body just melts into it. It's amazing. If you want one for yourself, I've got a special discount code in the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start in a crossed position. I'm gonna go ahead and sit up onto my bolster here like this. So I like to sit up like this where the hips are higher than the knees. It gets a nice space here in the hips. And let's just begin by breathing. Breathing can be so healing, and it is so healing for our bodies. Even if you're a little bit stuffed up now, just find a way to breathe in and out. And throughout this practice, what I find helpful is to repeat a mantra to myself by saying, I trust in the wisdom of my body. I trust in the wisdom of my body. And this affirmation really just gives respect to your body and the intelligence within it. And we think about, if you're a woman, how our bodies just create another human being, right? Our bodies are so incredibly intelligent. And so if we surrender to the wisdom of our bodies and allow ourselves this healing time to get better, it can be very, very powerful. So just repeat to yourself, I trust in the wisdom of my body. You can keep your eyes closed and all I'm gonna do is add some shoulder rolls here. So we're just gonna take those shoulders, roll them forward, up and back. Lots of times when we're sick, everything kind of starts to curl in and get tight and small. But let's open it up, allow the blood to flow through and let's reverse this circle. Circle it around. Good. And go ahead and raise the arms up overhead Inhale in, bring the palms to touch, and then bring the right hand to the floor, and take a nice stretch over to the side. Nice and gentle right here. And inhale, lift up. Good, let's go to the other side. Inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, stretch over to the other side. Inhale, reach up. Let's go to the other side. One more time. Inhale in. Really expand through. And exhale, release over to the side. Feel the low back stretch. And if you want, you can add a little twist here as I face down, like I'm looking into my right pocket. And then open up to the side again. Lift up. Feels so good, right? Inhale in. Exhale, bend to the side. Go ahead and look over to your pocket. Good, and then open to the side and come on up. Good, now we're gonna take the hands, we're gonna clasp it behind us. Good, inhale in. Lift the head and chest up. And release. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and move the bolster over to the side now and take a few cat cows it's always when we're sick that we realize how important our body and health is right and sometimes it takes us getting sick to really be grateful and that's very very normal for many of us and so hopefully you have a sense of gratitude for your body and all that it does for you. Good. And then we're gonna take the bolster here. We're gonna take a nice little puppy pose. 
So you're gonna reach the arms forward. And I want you to still do that cat cow pose on the bolster. So you're gonna lift up and then let the heart melt towards the floor. And then lift up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. And then go ahead and move that bolster over to the side. And now we're just going to take a nice child's pose right here. Release the forehead to the floor. Just allow yourself to surrender. Surrender to your body, knowing that it's doing exactly what it needs to do. Knowing that all the symptoms you feel is actually the body releasing whatever is in you. And you're on your way to getting better. Good, and then slowly roll on up, nice and slow. Let's go ahead and clasp those hands behind us one more time. Release the head up. And go ahead and take a few neck rolls right here. Really just being tender with your body, taking care of yourself. Good, and place those hands down. Tuck the toes under, and let's come back into a nice, easy downward dog. Pedal out the feet. Nice and gentle. Feeling the low back stretch, the back of the legs stretch. Getting that blood flow, helping your body. And then slowly walk the feet forward and then keep the legs nice and wide right here take them actually all the way out to the width of your mat and then take a nice big deep squat right here now if you need a little bit of assistance you could just put the bolster right here and that'll be a nice support so I'm gonna stay here actually because it feels really good so I'm gonna stay on the bolster and let's take a nice easy twist right here. So you're gonna place the right hand on the inside of the left leg and then twist, look up. Remember to expand through the chest. And let's go to the other side. Twist, look up. Opening up through the hips, through the spine. Good. And then just place the elbows on the inside of those knees and kind of push the knees back like this. You can close your eyes for a moment and just repeat that mantra to yourself again. I trust in the wisdom of my body. Take another big deep breath in. Good, and then place the hands down. We're gonna come in a nice gentle forward fold. So you're going to place the elbows here onto the knees and then release the head. And then if you're ready for a little bit more, you can come off of the elbows or off the knees and just hold onto the elbows. Let yourself hang. It's good to do a slight inversion like this. It's really good to just allow the blood and everything to flow so that nothing gets stuck. We don't wanna get like a, a dirty puddle, right? We wanna keep some movement going like a beautiful river. Good, and then place the hands down and then come all the way back down into a nice little seat. And then we're gonna come all the way to the floor. Let's take a nice little butterfly pose here. So we're gonna bring the feet together, soles of the feet together. And then just lean all the way forward onto your bolster here. 
Just find a comfy position as we hold here for about a minute or so. Good, and then slowly, slowly make your way all the way up. And let's come back into that seated position one more time to close out our practice together. And I just want you to notice the difference of how you feel now in just a quick 10 minutes than when you started. Just always remembering this moment right here, allowing this to bring you back to your mat every single day. Because I know life gets busy and we forget, but imprint this into your mind of how powerful just 10 minutes of being with your body is and breathing. Good, and bring the hands to heart center and let's repeat our affirmation one more time. I trust in the body. I trust in the wisdom of my body. Namaste. Beautiful work, great job in taking care of yourself. I know you're gonna get better really soon. Make sure that you comment down below to let me know how this practice was for you. And don't forget to grab your bolster if you haven't yet. And subscribe to my channel, that really, really supports me in being able to bring more videos just like this to you. All right, see you next time, bye.